Okay. So this is a refresher on Google Fonts. So once I search for my font and I find it, let's say I want this Whisper one, I click on it and I choose Get Font. If I already have something in my shopping bag, I can remove it. If I come to my shopping bag, I can remove it by using the little trash can symbol. But if I want to code this font, I'm going to get the embed code. For the head tag, I want all of this so I can click Copy. I can come over to my code.org. Okay. And in my HTML, so that's my index, in the head, I'm going to hit enter after line three, and I can hit a bunch of times. I don't want to delete this already existing link. I don't want that gone. So I'm going to paste it so that I have this new link here and the old link. Okay. And then I'm going to come back to, code, or to Google Fonts. For the CSS, I'm not copying the whole thing. I just want this font family. Copy that line. And I'm going to come back to my code.org, not that one, this one, and CSS. And you're going to pick what selector you want it in. So if I wanted my name to change, that would be the H1. I think you might have to put yours in the H2 according to the notes, um, but that would be the H1. If I put it in the H2, then anything that is in H2 will change. So you're putting it in whatever selector it goes with so that your font changes. And that's how you do a Google font.